I'm watching a stock here that's also being affected by China. It's Tesla. The stock poised, though, to snap a seven-day losing streak, but it's, it's a brief respite for investors who have seen it fall 17% over the past five days and a whopping 42% over the past month. Some technicians are even eyeing the $100 level as, as support. Jerry, that's, that's, that's Jonathan Krinsky, yes. our buddy, uh, <laughs> which was unthinkable only a few months ago, $100 level Maybe a few crazy. weeks ago. <laughs> if, to be quite honest. I know, I know. China concerns, again, weighing on the stock recently. We'll see. We'll get those. But we'll also get Q4 delivery numbers next week and the new IRA tax credit going into effect next year. So maybe the Tesla bulls will have something to look forward to uh, next year. But the big picture right now is short-term pain right now as we end uh, 2022. Yeah, certainly a lot of uh, pain investors have been feeling, invest, uh, Tesla investors, over the last uh, several months. Questions about demand. We're, we'll be talking to Colin Rush from Oppenheimer in the next hour about his outlook for Tesla and reasons to still be optimistic on the stock. Yes, Jared, we do have this overhang from Twitter. The distraction that that has certainly been for the company over the last several months. I think the question here going forward, in addition to the demand side of the equation, is how long it's going to be until some of that distraction starts to mitigate just a bit at least, or maybe Elon Musk won't be as vocal yeah. on Twitter, so we won't see that backlash anymore. I don't know. I, there's an old saying, don't catch a falling knife. This knife is so big and it's falling so fast, I'm tempted to catch it, but you got to wait for a little bit of strength here. Just want to show you real quick on the Wi-Fi Interactive. This is a month-to-date uh, heat map of our mega caps at the very bottom. Tesla, the worst performer, down 43% this month mm -hmm. over the quarter. And Shauna, this is something that I think you've been uh, honing in on as well. Look at that. Tesla right at the bottom, down 58%. Year to date, guess who's at the very bottom there? Tesla down 68.5%, Sean. Certainly been a rough, rough year. We will see whether or not Tesla kind of shifts the momentum, turn things around in 2023.